All right, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about Hyperland and using hyper scrolling. If you've been following my content, you know that I've been on my Neary kick for the past week and I really like the workflow of a scrolling window manager. There are some shortcomings with Neary, specifically around my gaming experience as far as work and the actual desktop itself. I've had pretty good success and I've been able to create a good workflow around everything, but the biggest issue is with gaming and making things go full screen. And for whatever reason, my mouse is not, you know, attached to the full screen window and I can move my mouse outside of the window onto a different monitor in the middle of a game. So like if I, you know, increase past a certain point, you know, moving the camera in the game, if I'm using mouse, it will detach from the monitor and go to the other one. So that's been an issue. I've tried game scope. I tried a couple other things to try to get it to be more contained, but I have had no luck. But if you do know, please let me know in the comments below to get that to work. My Hyperland configuration works great. I was trying to mimic the scrolling feature that Neary has. I was able to do so with hyper scrolling. If I spawn a new window, it goes to the right um, of the window that I have already. And if I spawn another one, it continues to go that way. It's been working pretty well. The only thing I don't like is I have not figured out a way to actually get it to, if I have like either one window open or have this window, I want to make this window expand the full width. Like you could do in Neri where you could have a, you have the preset layouts that you can choose from and then use mod R by default to switch between those methods quickly and easily. There is an option within the plugin to have the column widths. Um, one half, two thirds, and a uh, full uh, one to, to be able to toggle between those. I tried to get the actual bind to work. I could not get it to work. I've even tried to create a script to use the hyper CTL you know, dispatch commands to resize the window. I couldn't get that to work either. It works when I have the floating window to change the percentage of the window to 100%, 50%, whatever. So that works in floating mode, but when I'm in a tiled mode, I cannot get it to work. So once again, if you do know how to do that, let me know in the comments below, or you can join my Discord and help me out with that one. Because I would like to have the best of both worlds here and have the scrolling effect, but have everything that I want working because everything gaming-wise, working-wise, everything works well on my Hyperland configuration, but I want the best of both worlds. Have the scrolling feature, but I need to change the the width. Now, if I come in here and change the size like this, I can do so, but it's changing the size of the other window, which I don't want it. I just want to bump that window off to the side and make this one full screen and still switch between those windows afterward. So that's what I'm trying to accomplish, but have not been able to fully accomplish that just yet. The hyper scrolling is not fully fleshed out. It still has some work to go, some bugs there, but it does look like, you know, we do have some people making some adjustments to it with over the, over the past week or so. And I also did enable the Hyper Expo as well. So I can, you know, have the overview look on there and that has worked just fine. I mean, you can change the columns and the size and everything that that has, not, I have not had any issues, you know, whatsoever when it comes to that. So I mean, I am pretty pleased with that side of things. So. If you do like my configuration here, not all the updates that I have made in the past couple of weeks are in there, but you can go ahead and download my configuration. That is through a Nix configuration. You can go to the description down below and download that and try it out if you'd like. But yes, if you've enjoyed my content, you know, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.